So here we are again with some more embodiment and resourcing. So let's start with our centering and our three centering being present in our bodies, our hearts and our minds. Placing hands over your lower belly and closing the eyes or softening your gaze and tuning into this manifestation of you that's a physical body. Noticing what you notice, keeping it real simple, just letting go of any judgments or any comments that our minds might want to make, just directly experiencing what it's like right now to be experiencing our physical bodies. And then bringing our hands up to our heart area, feeling into the heart, manifestation of you right now that's an emotional being, uh, a being with emotions, the ability to sense and feel other people's emotions and moods, and the way that that connects us all, to, allows us to connect. So how are you today in your emotional body? And then bringing hands up to your head. How is your mental body? What's happening in your mind right now? It's bringing curiosity, noticing what you notice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then letting your arms, your hands come down, take one last deep breath, orienting in this awareness that you are, this awareness that has been here from the time you were born all through your life, perhaps even before you were born, this unchanging essence of you that experiences all the sensations, the feelings, the thoughts, the stories. And then bringing our eyes open. So we're going to work with touch today. Touch as a vehicle for coming into more presence within our bodies. Touch is a way of activating um, our nervous system and bringing it into a calm space. So I'll just talk a little bit about it before we get into the practice. While I'm speaking, you might look around where you're at right now and grab something, an object of approximately this size. I just grabbed a little calculator. So something that you can hold in your hands because we're gonna work with touch with an object. And I just wanna say a few things about it. So much of our lives, our focus with touch is on, especially with our hands, is on manipulating objects in our lives to get things done, to, to bring things toward us, to communicate, to gather data, et cetera. And so we often have this mode that's semi-conscious, maybe not very conscious of how we're using our hands. And it's kind of amazing to know that, to realize that our hands, the nerve endings in our hands there are more nerve endings in our hands than anywhere else in the body except for our mouths, our genitals, our hands. There was one other. I think those, those were the main ones. Just many, many nerve endings that receive information. 
So first, just realizing that the amazingness of our hands and what they are able to feel. And a lot of times the way that we relate with our hands is through our minds, through our psychology. So we're getting things done. If we're giving with our hands, we see how it affects the world and we see that and it comes in through our mind and our psychology. So the another way of experiencing touch and experiencing our hands is a more direct route through our somatic experience. So literally from the nerves and our fingers through our bodies and into our brains, into a place in our brains that lights up differently than the other, the first way that I was talking about touch. So it's more of a direct route through the body to the brain rather than through doing something out there, seeing the results, getting that information, and it comes into a different area of the brain. So I just wanted to kind of give us that landscape for a few moments. We are going to work with the direct route in this practice today. And so what I'd like you to do now with your object, I'm gonna kind of hold it up to make sure that it's on the screen so it can be seen. So I've just picked, it doesn't matter what the object is. It might be a stone, a shell, on a, an ordinary object from around the house. It's something that can fit in your hand. And this is a good practice to do with your eyes closed. So with your eyes closed, just noticing how this object feels, bringing all of your awareness into your hands. And so you might notice different things might stand out first off. So you might notice temperature, you might notice shape, you might notice texture, you might notice different angles, Seeing as you're touching your object, if you can really let go of labels, I, I did say a few labels there, but that was in order to communicate. But once you start to notice your object, maybe there are a few words that come and go. See if you can let those words that go aside and bring your awareness into the actual sensation that's coming in through your hands. So you might wanna let the object rest in one hand and then with the other hand, stroke that object, feeling how that feels in the fingertips or maybe the palm of the hand, perhaps the back of the hand. Notice the different ways that it can feel to different areas of your hand. And seeing if you can allow your body to relax as you do this. Maybe a little bit of your tension, attention can be on your whole body, relaxing, letting go, let your neck soften so that you can really allow those sensations to travel through your body up into that part of your brain that lights up with pleasure. You can play with the, maybe doing it with the other hand. Maybe it feels different on the other hand. Allowing yourself to be curious, like what happens if you flick your fingers over it. Maybe there's sound that happens. Breathe, take a few big deep breaths while you're doing this. That can help enhance that experience of a whole, your whole body being engaged in this process. Sometimes thinking wants to jump in. Just see if you can invite your mind to pause the thinking or set the thoughts aside, maybe come back to it later if, they, if those thoughts are really strong. And again, just returning. So this is a mindfulness practice, focusing our attention in a particular way right now through the sensing organ of our hands. And just taking a few more moments with this. 
Notice if you're, the rest of your body may want to respond. Like I'm noticing that I want to, my neck just wants to move a little bit more. It was starting to hold or kind of clench like it sometimes does. A big breath. Yeah, and when you feel ready, then letting your arms rest in your lap, sit down, set aside your object, letting your arms rest in your lap, maybe come into a relative stillness now, just savor and notice how this feels. Notice if there's any reverberations, if there's any ways that this touched you emotionally, maybe, maybe not. Notice if there are any feelings in the body in other areas. Noticing how your mind is experiencing this as well. Now we're going to make a shift to, yeah, I think standing would be best. So I know this is a big transition, but gently opening your eyes. If you're willing to make a transition to standing, see if you can kind of carry some of that feeling that you had in your hands. And I'm kind of creating a new um, relationship with Valentine's Day by, this is, this is Valentine's Day and I'm not, I don't really relate very much to the traditional or the commercial ways of experiencing this holiday. So I have a movement, a heart movement that I wanna share with you as kind of a way of closing our practice. So we start with our palms together in front of the heart. Now we move the hands forward, turning them over so that the fingers go down. Let the hands turn around to the back so the hands come toward each other. It's like you're turning them around and then up and then bring the palms forward like you're offering a gift. Now bring the palms back together in front of the heart. We're going to repeat that. We'll go a little bit faster now, moving forward. Fingers turn downward, hands turn around, and they scoop up. And then the arms move forward and offer with the hands. I'm going to do it from the side in case that's helpful. Hands in front of the heart. Hands move forward, fingers dive down. Hands turn around, coming up, right in front of the heart. And then the arms reach forward, offering. I like to connect the breath. So I breathe in as my palms come toward each other. Then I exhale forward and down and around, like you're scooping up heart energy and you're offering it out to the world. Inhale, drawing in energy toward your heart. And then exhale, hands go forward and down and around and offering and just do that a few more times in your own timing you can go a different pace if that feels better to you Wherever you are, just go through one more time. And when you finish with your hands out in front, maybe close your eyes for a few moments and just linger here. Just feeling the openness of the heart that quality in the body of offering. And then we'll close the practice there.